Live, 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 live. We're live. What's going on? Hi, guys. Welcome to the show. Bruce here in Creston, British Columbia. How are you doing today? Welcome to Saturday, June the 30th, the last day of June. This is the halfway point of the year. Oh, my God. Really? Are you kidding me? This is the halfway point of the year already. Didn't we just have like Christmas and New Year's just a couple weeks ago? I, I, I don't know. I haven't paid for Christmas yet. I don't know what's going on. Unbelievable. June the 30th, 2018. Another month come and gone. Unbelievable. Ten and a half months. This channel has been going. Unbelievable. I can't believe how fast that is. <laughs> I still remember the first week <laughs> all alone. How does this work? Wow, what a run. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for coming to my Saturday show, the 2 o'clock Eastern Time show on Saturday. This is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce. We are here uh, to talk about holidaying, cruise ship holidaying, uh, get you through the, uh, the withdrawal between cruises. If you're a regular cruiser, if you've never cruised before, you've come to the right channel. We love talking to new cruisers here all the time. We'll help guide you through all the pitfalls and all the questions you have and the mysterious uh, terminology that they have and what should you bring with you on your first cruise and uh, what should you leave at home and uh, what are you allowed to bring on board and what you're not allowed to bring on board. That's what we're here for. So if you have a question about cruising, Fire away. Whether you're a, a newbie or not, I'll try and answer a question for you as best I can. Uh, if I can't answer it, the folks who are signing in right now can. If you're watching uh, wherever you're from, tell me, where are you watching me from? Are you in the U.S.? What's your hometown? What's your high temperature today? Are you overseas? Uh, let me know. Uh, if you're in the U.K., what, what city or town are you in from the U.K.? What's your high temperature going to be today? Uh, here in Creston, British Columbia, three miles north of the U.S. border, uh, we're going to hit about 60 to 65 degrees today. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> June 30th. Uh, we're supposed to be in the 80s to 90s right now. That's normal around here. Uh, we're only two hours north of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Um, and uh, we're cool. We're, we're very cool this time of year compared to normal years. But I got to tell you, uh, my air conditioner isn't on. Uh, my furnace isn't on. Uh, the, the old electric bill is quite low, uh, which is fine by me. Um, so I guess that's okay. And since I'm uh, here talking to you, I don't have to worry about getting a sunburn on the deck or anything like that. I'm, I'm fine. It's all good. So interesting how, uh, how the weather pattern has shifted here. We're supposed to get some off and on showers. But next week, uh, they're telling us by Thursday of next week, uh, the heat wave is coming. The normal, regular the heat wave. We should be in the 90s here next week. We can reach 100 here, rarely, but we can. But uh, 90s are, you know, upper 80s, low 90s are kind of normal for July here. But June has been a cool month. So let me know, where are you watching me from? What's your weather like today? We'll compare notes. I know some of my viewers uh, uh, are getting ready to go on a cruise. I know uh, Debbie is getting on the, uh, the bliss today in Seattle. She's got to be excited. Uh, looking forward to hearing from her maybe the next few days with some uh, postings of photos on the ship and she can join us live. That would be even better. So wishing her all the best and we'll see who else is, uh, you know, who else is out there. Um, and, uh, Let's see who's here so far. Uh, let's say who's, see who's signed in to say hi to us. Richard C., great soccer, sadly, France over Argentina. <laughs> World Cup, and I haven't got time to watch World Cup. I can't do it. Um, got so much work to do on my channel. Uh, I've got new videos to make. Uh, I've got the station, the, per the channel to promote on all my media sites. So I just don't have time to watch it. Uh, Richard, 93 in the East Coast. Uh, Blaine is here. Hi, Bruce and all. 87, partly cloudy with thunderstorms, likely today on Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Welcome back, Blaine. Got your message today. I know you watched one of my videos. I posted a couple of videos in the last few days about Berlin. I don't know if you folks have watched them or not or noticed them, but uh, uh, I've been to Berlin a few times, but uh, I got lucky uh, about uh, two years ago. Uh, it, was just, it just all fell into place. Uh, my daughter was living there uh, at the, uh, with her boyfriend at the time, and um, we spent Christmas with her. Then four months later, we went back and spent April, uh, about 10 days with her in April, which is a completely different city uh, from December to April, completely different. Uh, and then uh, as fate would have it, my mother, um, getting on in years, she wanted to take her last trip to Germany to sort of uh, 
you know, say her last goodbyes, uh, knowing that she's getting on in years, but she couldn't go on her own anymore. She used to always fly to Germany by herself. So um, uh, it was decided that uh, the eldest would uh, would escort her. But she said to me, uh, here's the deal, bro, uh, buddy boy, <laughs> Brucey boy, you take me to Germany, drop me off at my brother's house, your uncle's house, and then you, 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 you go away. Just do what you want. You don't have to look after me because my brother and his wife will take care of me and we'll go see all the family and all this. Stuff. And you uh, do what you want. And I said, mom, how long do you want to go? <laughs> she said, I'm buying the tickets there and back. So I had a free, free airfare. And my daughter said, dad, uh, why don't you go to Berlin? You can have the apartment because uh, the boyfriend and I won't be there. You can have our apartment to yourself. It's a one bedroom uh, flat right in the Mitte area of Berlin, which is near Alexanderplatz, former East Berlin, the, the area of known as formerly East Berlin. They have a condo there. So she said, Why don't you, well, here's the keys, dad, just go there. So I said to mom, how long you wanna go? <laughs> she says, uh, well, I'm gonna need some time. And so we figured out three weeks, a three week trip for mom to go to Germany. I, I dropped everything, I said, you're on. And so uh, I took her to uh, to Germany, uh, spent one night with my uh, my uncle and, and his wife and my mom. And the next day, I grabbed a train to Berlin, to the main train station uh, on one of these ICE, uh, high-speed German trains. Unbelievable, just mm, impeccable. Uh, and having been to Berlin twice already in the previous um, uh, you know, six, eight months, from Christmas to April, here it was now September, uh, I'm in Berlin in September and I knew where I kind of knew where I was going. Uh, this is fantastic. I was looking forward to this trip and I knew exactly where the tram line was outside the back of the main train station. Just hopped on that. I had one suitcase with me, basically, and, and a you know, kind of a carry on. And uh, I brought my computer with me and my camera. And uh, I'll tell you, I uh, went back, uh, you know, on the tram, rode through the city itself. Got to Alexander Platz. Uh, I knew exactly what stop I needed to get off on, and a uh, couple blocks of walking with the with the with the luggage on wheels, no problemo. And uh, got to the building. The key fits in the front door. In I go up the elevator, and uh, I got to the door of my daughter's apartment. And my Apple uh, iPhone happened to be in my uh, chest pocket in my uh, jacket, and it was you know just sort of like this. And the, the phone uh, recognized the, uh, the internet, uh, the, the code, because I, of course, had used internet on my phone back in April and, and Christmas. And the phone went, Loom, one of those sounds of, uh, I know this, I know this location. And it, 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 it revs resonated on my chest here, right where, where my heart is. And it was kind of like my daughter saying, you're home now. You're in my house. It was just, uh, it was emotional. <laughs> it was emotional uh, because you're all by yourself and, uh, you know, your you're, you're, uh, you, family is, you know, where, wherever. And the phone's going, boom, you're, you're home. Oh, it was fantastic. Went into the apartment and, uh, of course, a uh, uh, wonderful little place and a great view. So if you get a chance to uh, check out the, the video I did, uh, two and a half weeks alone in Berlin uh, in a, in a in a private apartment. Um, oh, I'll never forget that trip for as long as I live. That that was an absolute gift for me. Um, good news, my mom had a great time. <laughs> she saw her relatives. <laughs> I caught up with them, uh, caught up with a cousin of mine, actually, and then I caught up with them uh, for the, the day before. It was time to go back, and uh, my mom had a wonderful time. And so we flew home from Frankfurt back to Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and uh, uh, my only regret is she doesn't want to do another one uh, because uh, today uh, her uh, her uh, memory is, is going so quickly that she wouldn't remember the ride to the airport, let alone any of the relatives there. So the timing was perfect for her. Worked out for me, let me tell you. And I uh, was able to put that video together the last few days. And uh, oh, man, Berlin. You ever get the chance to go, people? You have to go to Berlin. and Do not repeat. Do not try to do a three-day trip into Berlin and see everything cannot be done. You are ripping yourself off. You have got to spend a minimum of a week in Berlin or 10 days or two weeks, and you will not regret it because you'll find that, oh my gosh, the more time we spend here, there's more to see. It's unbelievable. And I don't care if you're interested in uh, modern day stuff, 
stuff from the uh, Berlin Wall days, the Second World War history, whether you're interested in uh, Roman history, I mean, Berlin's got it all, plus the museums of the world. Incredible. It's like Washington, D.C. It's a world capital. All the embassies are there. All the flags on the embassy buildings, you'll see them. And uh, you'll realize, wow, this is an international place that is unlike uh, most other cities that you'll have ever been to. And of course, Washington, D.C. is fantastic for the uh, museums, the Smithsonian. Berlin, too. Oh, my gosh. Uh, ancient history, modern history, uh, art, uh, Egyptian, uh, Greek. Uh, it's just endless. Endless. Is there any reason? Are there, is there a reason why there are universities in Berlin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of folks study there. So anyway, you get the chance to take, check it out. It's really fantastic. Uh, by the way, thanks again to all you guys who are watching the show all the time, watching my channel. You're picking up my merchandise, these mugs and these shirts. I really appreciate that. And also, uh, you guys who are going to my Amazon uh, affiliate link, it's just below in the description here. Uh, you're going to the link and going shopping on Amazon because you shop on Amazon anyway. Uh, you're using my link to do it. Thank you so much. I get a commission from uh, from Amazon on anything you get. It makes no difference to your cost. Um, the other day, I, I, I made 58 cents. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't care. Buy whatever you want. Of course, it's your stuff. And uh, we, I think yesterday, eight, eight, orders, eight orders came in or something like that. I, next few days, it'll all come out in the wash. I am so grateful for that. You guys are fantastic. Of course, all you... Um, those of you who are regulars, uh, there are some of you out there who, who uh, send me donations on my PayPal thing over here on my homepage. Uh, and I thank you for that, of course. Uh, this week, uh, I've had another bunch of donations come in, and I cannot thank you enough. Any amount is fine with me. Believe me, it uh, helps pay the bills, and thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Um, all right, let's see if I can get my messages to work. Now my phone is, is acting up on me. Here we go. Uh, let's see, Tr Tracy was uh, saying hi, uh, 86 in Naples today, thundering, uh, starting to rain here. Good day to get things done inside. Richard is saying, uh, Richard saying, Ronaldo was taking the pitch. I'll see you Monday. I'm out of here. <laughs> Robert Brandt, 88 in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. How are you, Robert? Welcome back to my show. Welcome back to my channel today. Uh, Sydney Forrester, Bruce, you are dedicated, my friend. Uh, 97 is supposed to be the high in Detroit. Nina Frank, hi from uh, sunny and warm Sweden. Sun goes down around, uh, goes down from midnight to three in the morning. That's when the sun goes down, just three hours a day. The rest is daylight. Now, midsummer last week. Wow, unbelievable. Sydney, welcome. Nina, welcome. Uh, Robert, uh, many people rebuilding here as and that are adding solar panels to avoid that electric bill. Right on. Yeah, that's a good move. Now's the time. Now is the time. Uh, absolutely put that new technology in there. Um, Robert saying to Tracy, I love Naples. Many, many friends from there. Tracy, one question. I was reading on vacations to go about tipping. Amounts, uh, the amounts to tip for the main dining room, uh, servers, bar, et cetera. I tip the main, I tip main AMT. Uh, that's added, uh, that's added at casino, room steward, et cetera. What do others do? I tip main amount. Uh, that's added. Uh, then I tip at the casino and I tip the room steward, et cetera, which I do, uh, you know, tipping, um, uh, Tracy is, is, a uh, it's a bit different than onshore. Obviously if you're at a, you know, if you're at a beach resort, uh, or you're in a hotel somewhere, um, you know, you tip the individuals that you see, you know, that serve you directly. The person who puts bags in your car, the guy that calls you a cab or, uh, you know whatever you whatever you have uh, your your waiter and 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 your uh, your room steward you know, on a cruise uh, you can do the standard uh, tipping deal where you just uh, you just uh, uh, pay the uh, daily amount that's recommended a gratuity charge that's recommended by the cruise lines covers everybody um, but you can also tip individually if you like and I recommend you take uh, about fifty seventy a hundred one dollar bills American with you when you go on a cruise. Um, so that if you find that you're being given extra service or you want to ensure continued really good service, you're slipping a $1 bill here, a $1 bill there on top of this daily charge that you're, you're signing up for, which is what I do, by the way, I just prepay it every time. But, uh, you know, if you're on the pool deck and, uh, you're ordering, uh, you know, beer or, or cocktail or whatever, glass of wine, um, the waiter brings it to you and, uh, included in the, you know, on, on the little bill, you know, if they get you to sign the bill or however it works, uh, if you're buying it a la carte, there's an 18% or a 15% charge already built into the drink price. So if it's a, 
seven dollar glass of wine there's only a dollar's worth of tip there um if you throw them a one dollar tip in cash uh the difference is that that uh, tip that was charged to the glass goes into like a pot and it gets split out the one dollar bill you're handing that waiter eh, it goes to that individual server and uh i've had a lot of folks tell me on this channel they say to me you know bruce uh, the first day on a cruise uh, i give my room steward like an extra 10 or 15 or 20 bucks uh, just before the cruise even starts and I tell them how I just how I like my room. Uh, maybe I like ice uh, in the you know by ten in the morning. I like to have a bucket of ice in my room, or um, I don't like my sheets tucked in at night. I like them out. You know whatever your preferences are. Uh, that room steward will be all over you. <laughs> you throw them an extra ten or twenty bucks already. Whoa, they're all over you uh, because they talk to each other and they know they mark down your room number. Oh yeah, this one's special. Um, with a with a waiter on a pool deck. Uh, or the waiter at the uh, dining room, you, you, he brings you a drink uh, at the poolside there, or your rum and coke. You give him a, a, a dollar bill or two dollar bills. Thanks for that. You know he, he's already got part of the eighteen percent tip. Now he's getting this. That drink will get down to about a third before he's back to you. Uh, your, your drinks will hardly get empty again unless he's completely overrun and doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, he or she will be all over you for service, and uh, they will take care of all the little things you may find that the second rum and coke you order, <laughs> it's just a little stronger than the first one. <laughs> a wise investment to make, and they remember you for the whole cruise. Believe you me, they remember you for the whole cruise. Um, the waiters in the dining room, the main dining room, it, it, you know, if you're giving them a couple extra dollars, uh, you know, the, they're already gonna serve you to within an inch of your life if they're any good anyway, but this just puts it over the top. Uh, I, I love having shrimp cocktail. Uh, with my with my dinner, like those big prawns, you know, I love those big ones. And uh, uh, it, it, sometimes the cruise line will have those on the first night, but they won't have it showing on the menu on the main dining room for the rest of the cruise until maybe the last night. And uh, if you ask the uh, the waiter, say, listen, is it possible to get uh, you know the prawns um, as an appetizer for every dinner uh, for the rest of the week? Uh, if you've slipped them a couple of dollars, uh, they'll move heaven and earth to find it. <laughs> they'll figure it out um you know there's magic uh, they'll 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 prepare a dessert for you the way you want it uh you know i love uh, i love uh, vanilla ice cream with that chocolate sauce on there and ooh, and i like it i like it like you know a big bowl and you know well they'll just take care of you <laughs> whatever you want so um uh, tipping uh is a personal thing uh go the way you want uh, in the casino uh that uh young lady is bringing you a drink at the slot machine you slip her a dollar bill um she'll be frequenting your slot machine often uh, otherwise uh, you'll notice uh, you're at the you're in the casino and uh, you're playing a slot machine and you don't you don't see anyone come around uh, they're they're only frequenting the customers that are really taking care of them uh, unless again they you know if they're going above and beyond but a one dollar bill here or there wow that changes uh, everything and they really do appreciate it anyway that's uh, that's my two bits worth there Robert I do uh, I do inclusive tip and then tip extra for things that are extra room service or special requests or great bartenders. Hey, there you are, Robert. You exactly what I'm saying. Uh, Tracy, Robert, it's a great place, uh, but much busier than it was when I first came down in 89. This is uh, Naples, Florida. Uh, I was a young traveling nurse at the time, laughing out loud. Uh, Blaine, amount, uh, the AMT amount. Robert, uh, Robert uh, Tracy, yes, it, it's exploded in the past 30 years. Development everywhere and golf courses. So Seakeeper, hey, Bruce. And all 94 degrees and muggy here in Tequista, Florida. Thumbs up. So thank you, uh, uh, Seakeeper, for coming by again today. Uh, today, uh, we have 21 folks watching. I got six thumbs ups right now. If any of you can spare a thumbs ups for this show, I would appreciate it. It'll help build momentum with the YouTube computer systems. Uh, thank you very much for doing that. Uh, Sylvia is saying, hi, Bruce, 88 degrees, but feels like 100. It is so hot and humid in Greensboro, uh, North Carolina. We're not talking about winter anymore, are we? <laughs> we used to talk about the winter temperatures. Not anymore. Uh, it's hot. Uh, Robert, I've tipped ahead uh, in the main, de main dining room and, and said I like certain drink each night. And as soon as I sit there, get there, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, cool jazz. Uh, good afternoon, Bruce, from this from very sunny New York City and 91 very hot degrees. Welcome back, Cool Jazz. Robert, be cautious drinking and gambling, laughing out loud. That's right. Uh, you know, you can't, you, you kind of loose. You got to be careful. Uh, although they love it <laughs> when you do get kind of loose. <laughs> it just adds to the ship's profits. They don't mind it a bit. 
Um, today, I was going to mention a, a couple of news events, a couple of pieces of information, and then I've got a trivia question for you guys today. And uh, what I was going to mention today was uh, I've been reading up the last few days, and some of you, some of you have mentioned this to me about the promotions that are showing up uh, from cruise lines. Now, we we've been talking here uh, for months, and uh, I've been hearing for six months at least. Uh, whenever I see an interview or, or read about an interview with the president or the, the board of director guy or senior spokesman for a cruise line, talking to a reporter or, or an interviewer regarding the health of the cruise business, all we hear about is how great everything is. How wonderful the cruise line is booming, firing on all cylinders, they say. Um, top high end occupancy rates. Uh, the ships are full. Uh, the dollars are rolling in. The prices of cruises are going up. Onboard spending is going higher. It's all just sunny peaches and cream. Every time I hear this, um, and then about a month ago, two months ago, I mentioned to you folks one afternoon on one of my shows, uh, I had the audacity to say that Stanley Morgan, the brokerage firm, ha has an analyst, the, 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 the stock analyst covering cruise lines and probably hotels and the entire leisure market. But in the case of cruise companies, this analyst came out and said, I, I don't think they're going to make their numbers. I, 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 don't, I think they're being a little too optimistic. I, 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 don't, I don't know how they're coming up with these projections of these, uh, of these growth rates. I, I think their numbers might be, uh, they might be short. Well, oh my goodness, all kinds of people came to the defense of the cruise lines and, you know, the president of the cruise line and the chief financial officer of the cruise line, whatever they got quoted about these comments. Oh no, everything is wonderful. We're just running an awesome. There's nothing, nothing to see here. It's all fantastic. And then this past week, our friends at Carnival uh, came out with uh, their uh, uh, second quarter numbers, uh, talking about new records. We set records in our second quarter. Absolute, hot, most money we've ever made in three months for a second quarter in the history of our company. We are making money hand over fist. Um, but, um, well, you see, um, the fourth quarter, uh, we're, you know, maybe uh, we might, we might not quite, not quite reach the number we, we thought we're going to make. We, we, we could be like, we'll still make money, you know, in the fourth quarter. We're going to make lots of money, but we're just, we're just not. Maybe just not all that money that we thought we would make. Maybe we're going to be just 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 a teeny tiny bitsy bit short of our projections. Um, but it's okay because we made a lot of money this quarter and everything's great. And, and we had a great year last year. We got new ships coming out and it's just fantastic. And um, right now, today, uh, you can buy Carnival stock at the low of the year. <laughs> the 52 week range of carnival shares, the high and the low, it's trading at its lowest price for the last 52 weeks right now. And this is a company making money like crazy. Same with Norwegian stock. You can buy it at its low of the year. Same with the Royal Caribbean. It's practically at the low of the year, within a dollar of the low of the year. Uh, these cruise shares have got whacked in the last two weeks. Uh, and there is no end in sight that I can see because um, I'm seeing promotions all of a sudden all over the place. Now, we've talked about promotions before. We get all excited about uh, free drink packages or this and that. I've seen uh, Norwegian for two years now uh, watching prices uh, that every so often we'll see, a, you know, five deals. There's five free offers. And if you book an inside room, you can pick one of those offers. If you take an ocean view room, you might get two of them. If you take a balcony, you might get two or three of them. If you take a suite, you get all five deals and you add it up and it's, you know, free, uh, free uh, booze, you know, drink package, free Wi-Fi, maybe up to 250 minutes or something. Or, uh, or a free, they have had free gratuity packages. They, they do that sometimes. And then they have uh, 
oh, all kinds of, you know, promos. That's just free stuff uh, to come on and take the deal. And I'm thinking to myself, well, if it's going so great and your ships are all sold out, why are you offering freebies? What's the point of that? If it's all good, why, why would I need to, uh, get, you know, be induced? And I can see if one cruise line does it for like a two-week time frame, it's like November for Caribbean cruises or the first two weeks of January, Caribbean cruises. Yeah, that's the time of year where it's slow. We just got over Christmas and New Year's. We're all broke. Uh, we've all been holidayed out or, or, or we don't want to go on a cruise yet in, in uh, Caribbean in the first two weeks of January. We want to go in the first two weeks of March or uh, we, the kids are back to school now. And we can't go because we're parents. And so, uh, we, you know, we can't do that. And there's all kinds of reasons why there's, you know, there's high seasons, low seasons, shoulder seasons and all this kind of stuff. Same with the Mediterranean. You want a cheap cruise in the Mediterranean? Go in January. <laughs> <laughs> you want to wear a winter coat? Go in January. Uh, you can wear your mink stall in in Rome in January because you're going to need it. Uh, but if you want to go to the Mediterranean in May, in June, July, you're going to pay top dollar. You're not going to get discount. So that that's always been the case. Well, here we are this this week. Uh, there are cruise deals available from Princess Cruises, Celebrity Cruises, MSC has a deal. Uh, Norwegian's got a deal. Oceana has a deal. There's deals all over the place. And uh, they're not just insignificant deals. Some of these are rather interesting and enticing offers. And we're not talking about the first two weeks of November uh, for a deal. We're talking about the 2018-19 cruise season. We're talking winter 18-19 into summer 2020. We're, we're talking all kinds of deals available over all kinds of cruises, all kinds of uh, um of uh, itineraries um unusual for a cruise business that's firing in all cylinders no problems everything's great have you noticed this week the price of oil uh it, get, it went up almost every day this week uh, i think we're at 73 to 74 bucks a barrel now um we touched uh, that 70 dollar number about six weeks ago and backed off right away and got back into the mid 60s low 60s and now it's come back and gone through it uh, what's your local gas price at the pump these days? Uh, it was going up. It came back a little bit. Is it going up again? I'm wondering, um, you know, driving season, of course, and everything else, the so-called booming economy we're supposedly in. How is it going? Um, cruise lines are buying, you know, mega amounts of fuel. They don't buy 20 gallons at a time. <laughs> they buy tons. Fuel by the ton is how they buy fuel for these cruise ships, because if you're going to push uh, a ship with 5,000 passengers and 2,000 crew, that's 7,000 people. You want to push 7,000 people from here to St. Thomas, from Miami to St. Thomas, that's going to take some gas and get them back. Um, these cruise lines are running into headwinds, uh, costing headwinds. The other headwind is interest rates. They're starting to creep up here and there. Uh, that might have an issue with forward pricing. Uh, and then there's the, uh, you know, there's the dollar, the U S dollar running at a pretty strong level, uh, against other currencies. And those folks from overseas, they've just seen the cost of their cruise go up five, 10, 15% in currency differentials in the last 30 to 90 days. Like things have happened quickly and it's not on the headlines. It's not, it's not what we talk about in the news. It's certainly not what you're going to watch on Fox news or on CNN. That's not the top story, but this stuff is happening. Um, and cruise lines are getting caught in it. Airlines are getting caught in it. Resorts are going to get caught in it, of course. Uh, Disneyland, Disney World, Universal Studios, anyone in the leisure business that deals in U.S. dollars um, and is looking for you know leisure spending, we got issues. All of a sudden, cruise lines have promos. Hmm. Princess sip and sail promotion, free drinks. A premium drink package, no less. That those cost sixty to eighty bucks a day a person. Um, my friend here, uh, uh, Robert Brandt, who is uh, right on it, says, "Hey, a cruise ship can give you a rum and coke uh, for less than a dollar a drink. That's their cost, less than a buck, and they're soaking you seven to twelve dollars a, a drink for that drink. So for them to offer you a drink package." that you would pay $70 for per night for a seven day cruise, $490 each, a thousand bucks for a couple. That offer, if you're taking up them up on six drinks a day, 
they're paying five bucks to give you 70, but they're now giving up 65 a day in profits on this drink package for two. They're giving up $130 a day in profits to get you on that ship. Now, what are they going to do to make it up? Well, they hope that you're going for the dining package. You'll go to the steakhouse. You'll go to the pizza place. You'll go to the, uh, the Asian restaurant or, you know, whatever you're going to do. Hopefully you'll go into the casino and you'll, you'll be feeling pretty good because you're walking in with your drinks and uh, you're a little looser. They'll get you some other way they're hoping, but they got to offer the free drink package to get you to commit to that cabin. Uh, celebrity classic drink package available right now on bookings for a variety of bookings. MSC Seaside. Oh my God. MSC Seaside has been giving away a drink package now for three or four months. They're going now for the next year Buy an ocean view cabin for $650. We'll upgrade you to a balcony for no extra charge and we'll give you a drink package. That's like $400 for a balcony per person per week uh, with a drink package. What's wrong with that deal? Um, if you're not too close to where that smell is, if you're higher up, you should be all right. Um, Seaside is having a heck of a time getting occupancy rates to the height that they want them at. Uh, Norwegian Cruise Line. Um, Free drink package is like uh, easy to get on almost all cruises on Norwegian's fleet. Interesting stuff. Oceania, uh, Oceania or Oceania. Uh, that I believe is also run by Norwegian, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, choose a drink package or an offshore excursion package, or just get yourself a good old cabin credit. Uh, spend it any way you want. Uh, some of these other cruise lines I've mentioned, they're offering not only the drink packages, but they're offering cruise credits. They're offering Wi-Fi packages, all kinds of deals. And um, these cruise lines, uh, you know, uh, Princess, Celebrity, uh, MSC, Norwegian, they got a lot of ships. They got to fill them up. Um, they're up against Royal Caribbean. They're up against all the Carnival lines. They're up against Hall in America. There's Cunard. It goes on and on and on. If you are a savvy shopper and you do what I do and you go to vacationstogo.com and keep an eye on pricing, you may find yourself in uh, in a position to book a cruise this fall, next spring, uh, next fall for an unbelievable price with some of these perks thrown in here. Not a bad deal. But this, again, is telling me uh, maybe it's not all peaches and cream across the board because I can see where the Symphony of the Seas and the Norwegian Bliss and uh, the uh, Carnival Horizon, you can't get on those ships for cheap. I get that. Yeah, they're brand new ships. The the the, the uh, Celebrity Edge coming out the end of the year. You're not going to get a discount on the Edge, um, but you want to cruise uh, for a week to Alaska? Hit the Vancouver and grab a Princess cruise ship. Grab an inside room for three hundred and seventy dollars. Seven day cruise to a back to back from Vancouver to Anchorage. Anchorage back. Fourteen days of eating all you want entertainment free uh pool deck with the closed roof uh you got yourself a nice 14 day deal for 750 bucks a person base charges still uh it used to be 800 a person to get a deal like that uh, 700 a person you you were paying a thousand more this is a deal this is for this is free as far as i know the cruise line is not making any money off you unless you're spending extra on the ship you want a deal in mexico this year you might be able to get deals to mexico Car caribbean we can always find a deal in the Caribbean. British Isles, this early this summer or this spring, I was finding deals in May and June in the British Isles, 60 bucks a day. All in. That's Europe, man. Europe? Are you kidding me? Uh, normally, Europe, you want to grab a, a five-star hotel in Norway, <laughs> and you want to eat? <laughs> you really? You want to eat, too? And you want internet? 500 a night. I mean, come on. Let's start. Let's start there, because you're talking U.S. dollars, not euros. On a cruise ship, 60 bucks a person, all in American. Oh, my God. Got the fjords. Enjoy. Wow. Some bargains. Anyway, that's what's been happening this last uh, little while, and it is coming on and on and on, and getting most interesting uh, what's happening here on some of these deals. Uh, let me take a look at messages that are coming along here. Um, Robert Brandt, the world the, – the, 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 uh, you, you, if you, you give a tip, you're going to get in prompt service. Uh, Robert says fuel costs could hurt them, but from my end, alcohol sales are actually up 4% from the same time last year. Uh, you know, Robert, I'm wondering, is that also because the ships are larger? 
Uh, is that have, that does that have something to do with it that there's just that many more passengers now on these ships? I don't know. Matt uh, Matt Burn. Then they have a lovely promo charge. Um, Robert uh, Brent. I think the thought is to fill the ship and make money off everyone all on board. Robert, you got it. Get the bodies on board because if they're not on, you can't pitch them. You you, you can't sell them anything. You want to sell a massage. You might as well have uh, instead of twenty nine hundred passengers. Why don't we have thirty one hundred and fifty of them? And we got 250 more people to shoot at to get some dough out of these guys. Absolutely swamp. Sylvia, uh, I just got a flyer in the mail today from Carnival. Get up to 20% off select rates, plus get 50% off deposits. Yeah, yeah. The, the deposit game is now being played by these cruise lines. $1 deposits, $99 deposits, uh, all kinds of deals. Please book, commit. Matt, uh, Norwegian has that pick your promo offer. Uh, and then uh, when you're all ready to check out, it has a $280 promo charge. <laughs> laugh out loud. They almost had me at least try them, and I, I'm loyal to Royal. Uh, Matt, I would check with a travel agent uh, as well, uh, a human being, and let them try to navigate that for you and see if they can find a way to uh, to uh, uh, you know steer you straight on this deal. Uh, just check into that, uh, Sylvia. Uh, but if you don't, uh, if you don't drink that much, it's a waste of money. Uh, I agree, Sylvia. If, you, if you're not a drinker, forget the drink package. It's, it's pointless. Um, Eliza, uh, hi, Bruce. Uh, it's 75 here in Santa Maria, California. Fantastic, Eliza. Welcome, uh, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the show. Uh, Judy Anstis, good morning, Bruce. Uh, buying a small travel trailer today to live in. Uh, on the road, laughing out loud, always on the move, going in November to the Caribbean for the first time. Fantastic, Judy. This is awesome stuff. Uh, you know, you've got your travel trailer. You get to, uh, you want to go on a cruise to, you know, from Long Beach or you're going on a cruise out of Florida or Galveston or, or New Orleans. You get your trailer down to wherever you're getting going to and the house is waiting for you when you get off the ship. It's perfect. I Way to go, Judy. I think it's a great idea. Fantastic move. Robert Brandt, uh, Sylvia, if you won't, if you don't drink six or seven of uh, the drinks, uh, in your fact, it's not worth it. Uh, you are correct. It's exactly right. Robert's got it. Michelle uh, Lucas is here. Uh, 100 plus degrees in Paradise, California, getting that big ass RV ready for Oregon, for the Oregon beaches. Uh, hubby uh, feeling a bit better. Uh, Randy, that's good to hear. He's getting better. Uh, Randy, get rid of whatever you had and get ready to get behind the wheel of that big ass RV of yours. Head for the cooler temperatures in Oregon. Those beaches are going to be nice. Matt uh, Byrne is saying 110 heat index right here now in Wisconsin weather. Wow, that's uh, summer has arrived for some of you guys. And for some of us, we're still in this, uh, you know, cool. Uh, Temperature zone, we haven't broken out yet, uh, but it, it's coming. It will be. We shall see. Uh, fantastic, you guys. Thank you for your comments and your thoughts on that. The only other news I had today was just a quick quick rundown of the week's news, and then we're going to play one trivia game with you today. The past week's news uh, that came out that I was covering was that Princess announced that they are repositioning the Royal Princess, big ship, uh, to Los Angeles, to California, to offer – classic california uh, coastal excursions uh, they want to offer cruises in 2019 and 20 out of la where the ship will leave la do a day at sea up the coast and head to san francisco stay a day there a full day uh, we're talking like a 12 hour type time frame to allow extensive touring to be done from the ship in downtown frisco for a full day, whether it's the, the area of San Francisco itself or, or you know, head into wine country. Second day, uh, the next day, you're in Monterey, California, just south of Frisco. Uh, not even, I don't even know if it's 100 miles from so far south. And the same thing, a full day there. You want to play around a golf uh, spyglass or the, near the Pebble Beach area or Pebble Beach itself. I'm not sure if you can get a reservation, but you might be able to get a reservation just in around that area. You'll have the time to get around to golf in. Uh, otherwise, you're going to take a full day tour into some Sonoma country uh, from that cruise ship. Back to the cruise ship, a day at sea, all the way down to San Diego. And you're going to get a whole day in San Diego. And you want, you're a golfer? Go golfing. You want to fish? Grab, charter a boat and go fishing off of San Diego. You want to uh, you want to just hang out in San Diego and see Balboa Park or go to the, uh, go to the water of the Sea World? There you go. Experience San Diego for all it's worth. Back on the cruise ship, then over to Ensenada. 
and then back to Los Angeles. There is a one week cruise that is kind of California oriented. Uh, this is a new uh, area for Princess. They haven't done this in a while and they're bringing a beautiful ship for this cruise. I think they're going to attract a lot of Canadians a lot of Americans from outside the West Coast to do this trip. And that wouldn't surprise me if a lot of Europeans who are flying over to the United States for a two or three week holiday, they're gonna squeeze this thing in in the middle of that holiday. And why not? Uh, you get your uh, your meals, your accommodations, and you're gonna catch Frisco, Monterey, San Diego, LA, all on a cruise. Yeah, good idea. So Princess is doing that in 2019, 2020. Carnival, not to be outdone, they came out this week with an announcement that they're repositioning the Carnival Miracle cruise ship over to uh, San Diego. They want to home port the Miracle in the, in the latter part of 2019 out of San Diego. That'll be the first time in seven years a Carnival cruise ship will be porting, home porting out of, out of San Diego. And they're looking to offer a bit of a mix mash of cruises. They're looking to do California cruises. They're looking to do Mexican cruises, and they're looking to do uh, Hawaii cruises, along with some Panama cruises. So the Panorama cruise ship, which is the, the new Carnival ship that's coming out, I believe, at the end of this year or into 2019, it will be home porting in Long Beach at their home port that they have there now. The Panorama will do nothing but Mexican cruises where the miracle will do a little of everything out of San Diego. So <clears throat> they're not going to compete for the same clients and exactly the same cruises with the Panorama. But Carnival is going from uh, just offering this, uh, this uh, you know, one cruise only. Uh, they, they do have a secondary ship that does short uh, Mexican cruises. But the Panorama cruises are going to offer one-week cruises, 4,000 passengers on that ship, up from the current 3,100 they're offering now on the one ship they have now. Then they're offering the second ship, the uh, like I say, the uh, Miracle, to offer these other cruises. And that, that's close to 3,000 passengers as well. So the Carnival's upping the capacity counts out of California. P Princess is upping the capacity counts out of California as well. And then the other story I had was uh, the stocks, which I covered already. The three shares, the big ships, uh, uh, cruise companies, Carnival, uh, Norwegian, and Royal Caribbean. The shares are all at yearly lows. Will they go lower? That depends on this next three months. If all three companies announce that their fourth quarter and their first quarter of the new year will be flat or slightly lower than expected, uh, those shares could drop another 10 or 20%. Um, it won't take much. Um, I don't see them rocketing to new all-time highs uh, overnight. I don't see it. I see headwinds out there. Uh, trade issues uh, between the United States, Canada, the Europeans, China. There's a whole economic mess brewing here that could impact uh, the economy, and that could put a put a damper on things. But we'll we'll keep an eye on it and see what gives. And we see the promotions in the meantime. We'll keep comparing notes about deals for sure. All right, let's see any more comments before we go to trivia. Um, uh, let's see here. Matt, uh, uh, said that it was hot. Tracy, Matt, if you pick the drink package as one of your free things on Norwegian, they automatically charge you the gratuities on the drink package. That's why the promo was that much probably. And uh, that's true. If you think about it, Matt, um, although I have to say, if you've got a drink package, that's 70 bucks a night and it's a seven day cruise, it's about 500 a person. It's a thousand dollars each. It's a $15, a 15 to 18% charge. So it's $150 to $180 for the tipping that's added to the drink package. You still pay the tips uh, for the drink package. The base price is free, all right? Now, if you had a specialty dining deal uh, or you had another package you picked that had a gratuity in it, that could be where that came from. That's where that is coming from. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you go back and look again at these price, the, the pricing here, but again, if you talk to a travel agent or just dial uh, Norwegian 1-800 and talk to a human being, uh, they'll explain it all to you there. And then you can decide whether you want to pull the trigger on that deal or not. But, uh, you know, you're saving 70 bucks a day on the drink package, but you're still going to pay, what, 18% on 70. What is that? That's uh, seven plus four, about $13 a day tipping. Can't get away from that. So that's a hundred, you know. 100 plus dollars per person US for the drink tipping uh, portion of the deal. But you're saving $70 a day. That's uh, 140 times seven days. 
almost a thousand dollars. So uh, there you are. It's up to you uh, how you want to play that one, my friend, and see what goes on. Matt saying thanks, Tracy. I didn't think of that. Scott Weber, uh, all California coastal cruise stop in Ensenada for the Jones Act. Correct, Scott. They have to stop in Mexico for at least six hours to adhere to the Jones Act. Otherwise, they have to hire all American crew, all American everything, and you will pay double for that cruise. Take a look at Pride of America in Hawaii for a typical seven-day cruise in a balcony and compare a seven-day balcony cruise around the Hawaiian Islands to seven-day cruises available to you in, in uh, the Caribbean where they have an international crew versus the American crew in Hawaii, and you'll see the cost difference. It is substantial. Depend at certain times of year, it's really severe. It's really high, just to show you know. Uh, Michelle? Oh, ship. Hubby will be booking new California cruises for sure. Love, Princess. Love, California. There you go, Michelle. <laughs> more ideas. Robert, uh, I think hurricanes could take the prices down more. Uh, they could, um, especially if there's damage. Uh, if there's going to be damage at certain islands and cruise ships now have to do uh, you know, new, uh, new itineraries, certain folks are going to cancel out because they're going to be afraid of the hurricane stuff. We'll have to see how the season goes, Robert. Uh, it's in. We're into it now. Elisa, um, I can't seem to buy the drink packages for a seven-day cruise. It, it almost like buying another cruise. I just can't do that, but I, I like my drinks. Uh, Elisa, I agree. Um, uh, you know, if you're, if you're on a seven-day cruise and it's a and it's Caribbean cruise uh, or a Mexican cruise, say, you're going to have at least three stops on shore. You've got three days where you can just buy your drinks on shore at a Senior Frogs or the Hooters or Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville or all these guys are out to all these chains and franchises are at these different ports and they'll all have specials, drink specials. They're all competing for the business from cruise ships and they all know they can't get away with charging eight bucks for a Ryan Coke. They can't sell a beer for eight dollars. No one's going to buy it. Too many competitors for the business. And so you go on shore, you find your best deal, and enjoy yourself. And uh, do your you know, show social drinking there. And when you're on the cruise ship, you just might have one or two for the rest of the day. And thank you very much. You don't have to buy a drink package. I agree with that. Uh, Lisa, um, uh, I can't wait to take the Panorama Cruise in December 19. Should be pretty exciting uh, with that new ship. Uh, that's a Vista class. Uh, it'll have all the toys. Uh, Valen Martinez is saying hi from, uh, from Argentina. How are you doing, Valen? Welcome back. Okay, let's play some trivia. I have a question for you guys today. I'm going to put you on the spot here, see how you're doing. How are we doing for thumbs ups? I got 31 watching. I got 15 thumbs ups right now. I got one down. Thank you for that. And if any of you can spare me a thumbs up as the show goes on, that would be terrific. Uh, the uh, thumbs up meter uh, uh, gives the uh, YouTube uh, computers an indication this channel's moving and uh, we got to promote this guy even more. So uh, please give me thumbs ups if you can. Let's play some trivia. I got one question for you today because it's a long one. <laughs> I, I went to work. And uh, let's see how you guys do on this. Um, I, wanna, I want you to tell me, uh, and I'm dedicating this to uh, Debbie Emanuel, who's getting on the, uh, uh, getting on the bliss today in uh, Seattle. She's getting on the bliss uh, because her favorite answer is, is in this uh, quiz right here. The uh, question is this. Tell me the international flights that you can take from Chicago O'Hare Airport, non-stop international flights from Chicago O'Hare. Tell me the city names that you can fly to out of Chicago. It's incredible, the list. And uh, we've got cities in Asia, in Europe, in North America, including the Caribbean. Let me know uh, of, uh, of the cities you can fly to from Chicago. And one of those is Debbie Emanuel's favorite guest, on trivia which one is it let's see what we've got going here um uh and <laughs> and robert brand saying the hint to cheap alcohol on board i didn't say it but tip your cabin steward well <laughs> there you go they can walk things on oh my <laughs> be careful uh sylvia china china sylvia saying china that's debbie emmanuel's answer china no, it's not China. Uh, there's a city that I'm looking for, Sylvia. What is the name of the city? Seakeeper is thinking uh, Toronto. Yeah, Toronto. You can fly Chicago to Toronto nonstop. Absolutely right. Uh, Sylvia uh, Sylvia came back right away. Tokyo. Tokyo. I remembered it's Tokyo. That's right. Tokyo, Japan. You can fly to Tokyo 
nonstop from Chicago. Debbie Emanuel would be so proud of you. Uh, <laughs> Robert Brent, he's guessing uh, we can go to Beijing, can't we? Uh, Beijing, yeah, you can fly Chicago to Beijing nonstop. You betcha. Uh, and Blaine is looking at Seoul, South Korea. And yeah, you can fly Seoul, South Korea from Chicago. You bet. Uh, Robert Brent is coming in here with Rome. He's wondering if Rome in Europe is available. Yes, it is. You can fly nonstop to Rome from Chicago uh, through Chicago O'Hare Airport. Absolutely. This airport is a uh, wonderful place to use for international flights. You can go that way <laughs> or you can go that way or you can go south as well. An amazing collection of cities. Blaine is asking about Shanghai. Yeah, Shanghai in China. You can fly to Shanghai nonstop. Dublin. Robert Brent is looking at Dublin in Ireland. Yeah, you can fly to Dublin nonstop from Chicago. Uh, Sylvia is going, thank you, Debbie. Thank you. <laughs> Nina Frank uh, looking at Frankfurt, Germany. Um, yeah, Frankfurt, Germany for from uh, Chicago is available. And Robert has London, England, the UK. You betcha, of course. You can fly to London. Blaine, what about Doha, Bruce? Can we fly into Doha? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Yes, that is very much available. Uh, Doha and then Barcelona Seakeeper is looking at Barcelona in Spania. And uh, you know what? I do not have Barcelona as a nonstop flight from Chicago. Um, I'm a bit surprised at that, but uh, didn't make the cut. Interesting. Uh, Paris Seakeeper. Yeah, you got that one for sure. Paris is available from Chicago non-stop no problemo uh seakeeper has london we've got it already nina frank is wondering about stockholm sweden yes stockholm sweden you can fly non-stop to stockholm and chicago blaine dubai yeah dubai for sure um dubai is available non-stop from chicago nina frank uh is wondering about copenhagen uh copenhagen is also available non-stop uh, for chicago absolutely right uh, Tracy Dunlop, we don't buy drink packages, play in the casino a while the first day, and usually I have drinks and water for the rest of the cruise. There you go. Uh, you're a, if you're a, a casino player, uh, even the nickel machines, uh, you tip that waitress $1 when she brings you that first drink, or you wave at her with a $1 bill, <laughs> you're drinking. And uh, go into the casino for five minutes, grab a drink, and walk around the ship. Come back to the casino, play for five minutes, grab a drink, and go walk around the ship. Enjoy uh, the casinos there to promote the casino. Take advantage of it. Absolutely. Uh, Blaine, what about Hong Kong, Bruce? Can I fly to Hong Kong from Chicago? Yes, you can. Back and forth, no problem. Uh, Seakeeper, Dusseldorf. Uh, Dusseldorf, no, sir. Uh, it's not on the list. Uh, Amsterdam, Robert uh, Brandt, wondering about Amsterdam. Yeah, Amsterdam, definitely on the list. Uh, Oslo from Seakeeper. Um, no, another one that's not on the list, but there's a ton of European cities. Keep keep those guesses coming. Madrid. Sylvia is wondering about Madrid. Yes, you can fly to Madrid. Uh, Blaine, Montreal, Canada. Uh, yep, yeah, Montreal, Canada for sure from Chicago. A Seakeeper, Brussels. Yes, for sure you can fly Brussels. Absolutely right. Uh, let's see here. Auckland, New Zealand from Blaine. He's wondering what Auckland, New Zealand, and uh, I am not finding Auckland, New Zealand available from Chicago. I am not seeing it. Uh, Blaine, Vienna in the, in the Europe. Yes, Vienna, Austria is on the list for sure. A seakeeper is wondering about Algiers, uh, the city of Algiers. No, not finding Algiers on the list. Uh, Tracy Dunlop is saying here, also, when booking with Norwegian, I, I book through casinos at sea. Uh, and they have a drink card waiting for us in our stateroom to use in the casino. How about them apples? Uh, that's pretty interesting, Tracy. Very good tip. I like that. Seakeeper, Tunis in Tunisia. Can you fly Tunis to, from Chicago? No. No uh, direct flights Tunis to, uh, to, uh, to uh, Chicago. Uh, Manila from Sylvia. Wondering what Manila uh, in, uh, in, uh, the, in the Philippines and I don't have a direct flight uh, from uh, from the Chicago to Manila. No, I don't see one there. Uh, Lisboa, Lisbon, uh, Nina Frank is wondering about. Uh, Lisbon, uh, no, it's not available uh, at all. Uh, Brussels, uh, we have already, Nina. Uh, Cancun, we've got Blaine going Cancun, Mexico. Yes, 
Nonstop flights from Cancun are available. Reykjavik, Robert de Brandt, uh, Reykjavik in Iceland. Um, looking for that. I'm not showing it now. I'm going to say it's possible that today uh, there could be flights from Reykjavik because of Norwegian Air and some of these discount airlines. But when this quiz was put together, when I got this, hands up, it, it may not have had it. This might be a one or two years old. A lot of changes in the last two years have happened. So Reykjavik could be correct. Uh, Sydney in Australia is a guess coming in here. Is Sydney, Australia in here? No, cannot fly Chicago to Sydney on a direct flight that I see here. Uh, what about Budapest? Budapest Lane is wondering about Budapest. Nope, I don't have it. Argentina, well, that's a country. Uh, I need a city name. Uh, Vancouver from Nina Frank, Vancouver, British Columbia. Yep, you can fly Vancouver, Chicago nonstop. Uh, Robert Brent, what about your favorite city, Berlin? Yeah, you can fly to Berlin nonstop from Chicago. Uh, not very many cities in, in North America can you do direct flights to Berlin. Usually it's Frankfurt Connect or, you know, Amsterdam Connect, but Chicago, Berlin direct. You got it. Uh, Athens, Robert Brent is wondering about Athens. I don't have Athens on the list. Mexico City. Uh, yes, Mexico City Direct is available. Bucharest, I do not have. Uh, Nassau in the Bahamas. Yes, Nassau, Bahamas, Chicago, nonstop flights available. Tracy, going to have to watch later. Thunder keeps knocking me off. Oh, Tracy, hang in there. Stay safe inside that house. Sylvia, uh, Cairo in, uh, in uh, Egypt. Can I go Cairo Direct? Nope, not Chicago. Uh, Singapore, uh, Nina Frank is wondering. Can I go Singapore direct? Nope, not direct either. Too far, I think. Uh, Zagreb in Croatia, Robert Brandt is wondering. No, I don't have Zagreb in uh, Croatia. No. Istanbul, Blaine is wondering about Istanbul, Turkey. Yes, Istanbul, Turkey is available uh, for sure. Montego Bay in Jamaica. Yes, Montego Bay in Jamaica is available. Porto Vallarta, Mexican uh, stop. Yes, Porto Vallarta is available from Chicago nonstop. Istanbul, we have Cabo. Blaine is going to Cabo. Yes, Cabo, you can do. Uh, San Jose del Cabo, you can do nonstop from Chicago for sure. For those in that area of the country, man, can you get out there? You can go deep to the Caribbean, to Mexico, deep into Europe, Asia. You can go either direction. Great location. Uh, Seakeeper, Dakar in Senegal. Dakar. No, not Dakar. It's not not uh, available. Sylvia Swan, uh, Warsaw in uh, Poland. Yes, Warsaw available. A uh, seakeeper. What about Rio de Janeiro? Is uh, is it available? Rio de Janeiro. Uh, no, I don't have it. Um, I'm looking here. Porto Prince from Seakeepers. Wondering about Porto Prince. I don't have it either uh, from Haiti. I don't have it. Uh, Dublin. We've already got uh, Dublin. We have. I'm still looking for um, two cities in the Mideast. I'm looking for uh, a city in India. I'm looking for a, a city in Asia as well to complete the Asia and the Mideast area. Um, Abu Dhabi just came in here. Uh, yes, Abu Dhabi definitely is one of them. Uh, now I'm looking for uh, one city in the Mideast. And I'm now looking for uh, one city in Asia and one city in India. Um, let's see what we have here. Uh, uh, no, we're up to speed. Okay. And in, in Europe, I'm looking for um, – uh, oh, hang on a minute now. I might just, let me double back. I think I just found something. I owe someone an apology here. I owe somebody an apology. Uh, Robert uh, Reykjavik, I'm going to give you that one because Iceland is on this list. I just had it as a different uh, named airport. Uh, Reykjavik is definitely on the list, and you got that one correct. Um, coming back here to uh, to my list here, Mumbai from Sylvia. She's wondering about Mumbai. No, uh, Mumbai is not on the list. Uh, Delhi is. Delhi is on the list for sure. Uh, Blaine, you got it. Seakeeper, uh, some dumb young guy in China. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, Seakeeper. Uh, Blaine at uh, Dublin, we already have. Richard C., halftime, back from pub. Uruguay won, Portugal nothing. Uh, local pub is rocking back to my home base. <laughs> Richard C., the question is, nonstop international flights from Chicago O'Hare. 
we got uh, a, a bunch of North American cities we're still looking for. A uh, few in Europe. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Dublin came in. Then we have uh, Dub Dubrovnik, Robert Brandt, wondering Croatia, Dubrovnik. No, that's not on the list. Uh, Brisbane, uh, sorry, Brybane, Bri Barbados. Uh, I'm not sure. Brisbane, Australia won't help you either, by the way. Um, but I can't figure out what city you want from Barbados. Uh, Sao Paulo, a DN is wondering about Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, yes or no? Uh, let me just see. Yes, Sao Paulo, South America is on the list. That's a long one. Um, Moscow, Seakeeper is thinking about Moscow. And uh, I'm looking here. No, Moscow, you cannot fly from Moscow to Chicago direct. Interesting. It's it's New York. It's Washington. Uh, LAX, I believe, but not Chicago. Isn't that something? Um, uh, S-Swan, uh, Sylvia. Uh, Jing, Xinjiang in China. Uh, no, not the, the not the city I'm looking for. I've got one city left in Asia, and it's not in China. It's um, it's kind of a disputed area. I don't know if that helps you guys. Um, Vancouver, we have Bordeaux, France. Uh, I need city names that are more accurate than that, but no, uh, it, uh, not Bordeaux. Port o Spain in Trinidad. Um, I'm showing. I've got nothing there. No, I have nothing there. Uh, Seakeeper Caracas in Venezuela, Bruce. What about Caracas? No, I don't have that either. Uh, Sydney, Australia, no. Taipei, yes. Uh, Blaine and Richard, you got it. Taipei, Taiwan is on the list. I have one city left for Chicago <clears throat> to the Middle East, and it's a city you would never think of normally. I was surprised to see this city show up. Um, let's see here. We have uh, we have Sydney, Taipei, Taipei. Helsinki has just come in. Uh, Helsinki, no, not on the list. And uh, Kazakhstan, uh, Sylvia, no, I don't have Kazakhstan. Uh, South Korea, uh, we already have Seoul, South Korea. <clears throat> Excuse me, for um, Europe, I'm looking for a city in the United Kingdom. I'm looking for a German city. I'm looking for a city in Switzerland. That That finishes Europe off. Uh, Blaine, Amon, Jordan. Yeah, Amon, Jordan it is. Uh, I couldn't believe it. Um, Amon to Chicago nonstop. Wow, that is something. But it's true. Uh, they have enough business to uh, warrant that service. Uh, the other cities now in North America, I'm looking for um, uh, I'm looking for cities in the Caribbean. I'm looking for cities in Mexico. I'm looking for cities in Canada. Um, and... Uh, uh, I'm looking for cities south of Mexico, uh, but north of Colombia. There you go. There's a few there. Now, here we go. Stockholm, uh, Sweden. We've got Edinburgh. Uh, no. Uh, Munich. Yes. Munich, Germany. We've got here. Fantastic. Uh, let's see what we have left here. I'm now looking for a UK city and a Switzerland city. And that's it for Europe. Um, Stockholm, Edinburgh, Munich, Aruba. Yes, Aruba for the uh, North America. We got it. Kingston, Jamaica. Uh, no, not available from Chicago Direct. Uh, Munich, we got. Glasgow, no. Uh, we have uh, another UK city. We're looking at Punta Cana. Uh, yep, we got Punta Cana here. Very good. San Juan, Puerto Rico, not international. That's a U.S. territory. Does not count. Uh, they probably have flights but it doesn't count in this survey. Uh, San Juan, uh, sorry, uh, Bern, Switzerland. No, another city in Switzerland, please. Vienna, Austria, we've got already. Warsaw, we've got Manchester. Yeah, there it is, United Kingdom, Manchester. Thank you. Um, we now have only one city left in Europe, and that's in Switzerland. Uh, we're looking at um, that, and here we go. Or tell the president. Uh, tell the president it's the USA. <laughs> yeah, tell him that. Uh, cool Jazz uh, Manchester came in as well. Thank you, uh, Cool Jazz. Uh, the guesses that you got right so far, you got all the Asia cities. You got Abu Dhabi, Amman, Beijing, Delhi, Delhi, Doha, Dubai, Hong Kong, Seoul, Shanghai, Taipei, Ko Tokyo. Even the Middle East is considered Asia, which, you know, I find it kind of kooky. In Europe, you've got all these correct from what I can see, except for one city here. We have it right now, Zurich. Blaine just got it. There we have it. Europe came in with Amsterdam, Berlin, Brussels, Copenhagen, Dublin, Frankfurt, Istanbul, uh, Reykjavik in, in Iceland, London, Madrid, Manchester, Munich, Paris, Rome, Stockholm, Vienna, Warsaw, and Zurich. So we have all of Europe covered. Now I'm trying to get North America nailed. Down. We've got Aruba so far. We have Cancun. 
We have uh, San Jose in Cabo. We have Mexico City, Montego Bay, Montreal, Nassau, Puerto Vallarta, Punta Cana, Toronto, Vancouver, and Sao Paulo for South America. I am looking for other Canadian cities. I'm looking for uh, other cities in Mexico. And I'm looking for cities in the Caribbean, in the Caribbean including cities in Central America, south of Mexico, north of uh, Colombia. I'm still looking for some of those, and we'll see if any of you guys can come in with those guesses. Um, there's a city that is five hours from by from where I live by car that I used to live in that you can fly Chicago direct. Uh, that's on the list. Um, there's a uh, the capital of Canada is available uh, for a guess. Uh, we have Cool Jazz going Nova Scotia. That's a nice province. Halifax, Nova Scotia, Sea Keeper is thinking. Uh, not a city that uh, flies Chicago direct. Um, uh, let's see, Cool Jazz, St. Martin. Yes, I believe so. Yes, St. Martin. You can fly nonstop to St. Martin. Panama City. Uh, yes, that is correct. You can fly to Panama City. Blaine, Montreal, we've got already. Miami, Sea Keeper. Uh, uh, I, I never uh, – hang on a minute. Miami, Miami. Um, not on the list, but I can't believe that. I can't believe it's not on the list. You tell me you can't fly Miami to, to Chicago direct? I can't believe it. But on this list, it doesn't show it, but I, I, I have a tough time buying that. Um, Quebec City, uh, Cool Jazz is wondering about Quebec City. No, it's not one of them. Fort Lauderdale Sea Keeper is wondering about. I do not show it as uh, – sorry, this is a, these are domestic cities. Talking international. He can't give me U.S. cities. Sorry. Of course Miami is on the list. It's international cities only. Uh, Palm Springs, again, uh, that's uh, domestic. Blaine, Calgary, yep, that's uh, where I used to live. Calgary, Alberta, you can fly nonstop to Chicago daily. Uh, let's see, stay out of uh, stay out of USA, uh, give me Canada, Mexico, Central America, give me um, uh, Caribbean regions, and uh, we'll have this licked. Uh, let's see if I give any more hints. I used to live in this, uh, this place in the Caribbean. Uh, if you know, if you watch my shows, I used to live here in the Caribbean. Uh, they could fly direct from there. Um, and let's see here. Uh, the second largest city, the third largest city in Mexico, you can fly as well. Uh, Belize. What about Belize? Yep, Belize City in Belize. Yes. Uh, wow, with three, Richard. Way to go, Richard. Robert Brandt, uh, Grand Cayman. Yeah, Grand Cayman. You can fly nonstop from Grand Cayman to Chicago. What an escape. What a difference. <laughs> you want something different? Do that flight. Holy macaroni. Uh, let's see. Puerto Vallarta. Sylvia is wondering. Uh, we've already got it. Uh, Honduras. Can we do Honduras? Uh, I need a city name for Honduras if everyone, anyone has one. Um, and let's see. What else have I got? The capital of Canada is still up for grabs. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, the, the capital of Costa Rica is up for grabs. Um, the, ca the capital of El Salvador is up for grabs. Um, we've got countries coming in now, but not cities. Uh, Dominican Republic is being guessed and I need a city in the Dominican Republic. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, a city in Canada is available that, um, uh, is in Manitoba. Uh, I'll give you that guess. Uh, north of Wisconsin. Uh, let's see. Ottawa just came in. Blaine came in with Ottawa. Yes, Ottawa, Canada. Then we have uh, then we have San Jose, Costa Rica. Yes, correct. Then we have San Salvador, capital of El Salvador. Correct. Uh, very well done, you guys. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting very close now. Um, uh, a popular cruise stop. In Mexico for cruise ships, you can fly direct as well. Um, here's Seakeeper going with Winnipeg. Right on, buddy. You got Winnipeg, right? Well done. Uh, Santo Domingo uh, is a guess, and I do not have it on the list. Santo Domingo, I do not have. Um, double check here anymore. Uh, uh, San Juan, Costa Rica. Uh, no, no, I don't have San Juan, Costa Rica. Sorry. Um, what do we got? Winnipeg. Okay, we got uh, Tegucigalpa. <laughs> the end. Uh, that's tough to spell that one out. Tough to say it too. I don't have it. Um, uh, Winnipeg. We got Roatan, Honduras. How about Roatan, Honduras? No, I don't have it. Um, Steaming Bean, the Vatican. No, he always guesses the Vatican. Liberia. 
Uh, EA Cool Jazz, Liberia. Yes, Liberia is a stop. Uh, Cancun, we've got. Uh, Belize, we have. Cozumel, yeah, Cozumel. You can fly Cozumel from Chicago. Uh, fly in, look at the cruise ships and fly out. Uh, second largest city in Mexico. Third largest city in Mexico, I'm sure. I make up this list here. Uh, let's see here. Yucatan, no. Uh, Cozumel, we just got. Um, a, a Caribbean island, uh, uh, very lovely, is, av is available here. The island name and the city are the same. Um, let's see, what else have I got here? Um, uh, yeah, Mexico, that's Mexico. And I don't know what country that one is in. I've only got about three or four left, uh, but I got about three Mexican cities, though, available. Mexico City we have, Cancun we have, Cozumel we have, Puerto Vallarta we have, Cabo we have. There's like two or three more. Um, and we'll see if anyone gets it. Guadalajara is coming in here. Yeah, Guadalajara, got it. I'll take that spelling blame. It's okay. St. Lucia, yes, St. Lucia, well done. Uh, way to go, cool jazz. Yeah, St. Lucia. Um, we've got Santa Lucia, St. Lucia. Uh, that was another one done. I am now down to a handful here. I've got one, two, three, four left. That's it. Um, and uh, I'll give you a few more minutes, and then I'm going to pull the pin on this. Tijuana, no. Cas uh, Castries, Castries, uh, is, uh, he's wondering, Castries, no, not that one. Uh, Nassau, we have already, Nassau, Bahamas. Uh, and here are Reggie and her man. Uh, don't forget thumbs ups. Uh, thank you, Reggie. Um, we're looking for the last of them. Um, and we are we have got this thing licked. Um, uh, let's see. Last couple of guesses. Any other cities in Mexico? Um, and then I'll just give them up to you guys. Uh, and there's there's another. There may be one or two here that are Caribbean uh, cities, but they're tough to come up with. San Limon? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't know that one. Um, okay, here's what we got. Uh, we have um, uh, Hout Hout or How Tulco? H A U T U L C O? How Tulco? Don't know where that is. Then I have Ixtapa, <laughs> and then with a Z, Z I H Z Z How I, I my pronunciation is totally wrong, uh, but Ixtapa, I believe that's Mexico. Uh, then I've got, um, uh, let me see here. I've got Provent, Provid en las Liatles. It's Provent. I want to say Providence is all I want to say, and Liadles, and I don't know where that is. Uh, I uh, didn't write down the country. Uh, some folks saying Jamaica, some folks saying that's Mexico, I think. But I think that's the end of our uh, quiz here. <clears throat> you guys did really well. Uh, these are cities nonstop. You can fly from Chicago. Amazing. Europe, Asia, the Middle East, uh, Central America, South America, uh, Caribbean. Uh, Chicago has a phenomenal collection. Turks and Caicos might be the one there, Robert. Steaming beans. Spit it out, Bruce. Go ahead. Give it a shot, buddy. <laughs> I'm doing what I can. By the way, the steamer posted a video today on uh, the Facebook page for Traveling with Bruce. Get a chance to check it out. Traveling with Bruce Facebook page. Uh, steamer put a video up there. Uh, we're having fun with that. If any of you want to join that page, by all means, just go on, uh, on down there and ask to join i'll let you in and you can post photos watch see the photos that have been posted everybody is posting their favorite cruise ships holidays they've been on uh, some of the cabins that they've had on their cruises their balconies uh, some of the pool decks they've been on some of the dining rooms, some of the food they've eaten on cruise ships i got pictures of food love it guys post away like crazy it's a way to keep uh, uh, keep uh, traveling with bruce uh, give yourself a traveling with bruce dose seven days a week 24 hours a day between shows great way to do it uh thanks again for all you guys buying product from traveling with bruce's red bubble store the logo is in the top corner on my homepage, or the link is just below in the description and also thanks to you guys for going to my amazon link you're going to my amazon affiliate page i really appreciate you doing that uh uh it's fantastic uh for coming by and um uh, and uh Picking up some stuff on Amazon, I get a royalty on anything you buy on Amazon if you go to my affiliate link page. I just love it. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see here. Beaner is saying here, if you want a postcard, uh, you want a postcard from the Beaner on his upcoming trip, send him a message on his email. He's just posting it here. 
and uh, you'll get a postcard from him. Beaner, I'm expecting one from you because I'm letting you do it on my show, uh, and I need a postcard from you right back here, buddy. Get me a postcard from that cruise ship uh, and let me know. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, what stops are you making, Beaner? The steaming bean saying 14 days, two weeks today. He's on a ship, and he's saying I'm Bermuda bound. Fantastic. Heading out of New York. That's going to be great, man. Uh, thank you also for all of you who have been making donations to my PayPal uh, uh, donation page. I've been, I've been very appreciative of that. Thank you so much. Uh, it's in lieu of, rather than doing Super Chat with YouTube where I only get 70% of the funds, YouTube takes 30. Go to my PayPal, and, and if you throw me a donation there, I get 94% of it instantly. Uh, you can do it anytime you want, 24-7. We're on the Super Chat. you got to do it only when I'm live. And uh, I thank you one and all for helping me with that because this is my full-time gig. Uh, Steamer saying happy Canada Day tomorrow, all our Canadian friends. Steamy Bean, no charge except for Bruce. Uh, Steamy Bean, thanks, Seakeeper. Uh, <laughs> what do we got for thumbs ups? 21 thumbs ups now. Thank you, guys. Uh, uh, thank you very, very much for those. I appreciate that. Helps with the momentum of the channel. Uh, that's really about it. We've got her done here, folks. Uh, I think we did okay. I want to wish you guys a good weekend here. And uh, best wishes to Debbie Emanuel on the uh, Bliss. I hope her cruise is going to go well. Looking forward to hearing from her and seeing posts on the Facebook page. Head to the Facebook page, Traveling with Bruce. You'll probably start seeing Debbie posting photos from the Bliss uh, the next couple of days as well. There you go. This is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce saying, hey, thanks for joining me today. June the 30th, last day of June. I'll see you guys day after tomorrow, the 2nd of July. Uh, we'll be back on the air. I won't be missing a beat. I'll be on every day as usual, Monday to Friday at 5 Eastern, Tuesdays, Thursdays at 8 Eastern for trivia, and Saturdays at 2. And uh, we'll have some more fun on Monday. Uh, Robert saying, I'm eager to see the bliss. I am eager to see the bliss. Sylvia, good show. And uh, Richard, back to soccer. I'm back to soccer, man. Uh, thanks, you guys. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Unless I drop a video in the meantime, uh, we'll keep you uh, in suspense on that. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one. Talk to you on Monday. Take care, everybody. We'll see you for now. Bye-bye.